What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. My name is Kevin and if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, I want to thank everybody for taking the time out of their day and watching this video. And uh, if you guys have been following us for a while, you know we primarily raise goats, but we are always getting on Facebook Messenger and email, we're always getting a lot of questions about livestock, um, primarily the goats. And that's what today's video is going to be about is goat health. And I'm going to show you guys the difference in a goat that has had copper, a copper bolus administered two weeks ago, and one that is his brother that did not have it. And I purposely left one out because I wanted to show you guys the difference. It's been two weeks now, so I wanted time for the copper to work in the one that we gave the bolus to. And I want to show you guys the difference in the one that we didn't give it to. And we get tons of questions about minerals for goats. And stuff like that and copper is probably the most important supplement you can give your goats copper is a uh, copper is just about as important as a goat as to water as to everything I mean uh, it's right up there if they have low copper levels they're gonna be sick they're not gonna be healthy they're reproductive um, breeding is not gonna be sufficient for what you would typically want in a goat uh, their looks their color of their hair all kinds of health benefits come from this copper when the goats have the uh, amount that they need for their body. So I'm going to show you guys first what these little copper bolses look like. I know if you guys have been watching us for too long, uh, we've made a couple videos on doing the copper boluses and stuff like that. But we are getting tons of questions right now. So uh, two weeks ago I came out and on our in our buck pen I gave... Almost every one of our bucks to copper bolus, but one. I had a set of twins, and I wanted to keep one separated from the rest that didn't get the copper bolus. And he's actually a cull, and uh, he is blind in one eye. And uh, speaking of eyes, I just got back from urgent care because I was working on a little project, a little hobby that I'm trying to get into. And uh, I was using a Dremel to carve some wood, and a piece of wood went in my eye. I just happened to take my safety glasses off for just a minute and forgot to put them back on. And sure enough, popped right in my eye, and I couldn't get it out. Anyways, after a trip to urgent care this morning, they put all kinds of drops and stuff in there and sent me home with some antibiotics and all that. Anyways, I should be good to go. But I'm going to take you guys in the shop real quick where I keep all my uh, goat meds. I already got some stuff laid out. And I'm going to show you what these little copper bolsters look like and how we administer them. All right, guys. So what I got here is I got two different sizes of these copper bolsters. And I want to show you guys what they look like on the inside. So what you got is you got a capsule here, just like a regular medicine capsule that we take. But what they do is they got these little bitty, bitty, bitty pieces of copper. And they stick them in here. I think the big ones are four grams and the small ones are two grams. But what happens is you pretty much get your goat to swallow the capsule and these little bitty pieces of uh, copper gets embedded in the uh, digestive tract of the goat and it's kind of like a long term release type thing. So the brand that we use are the Ultra Cruise and you can find these on Amazon. That's the cheapest place we've been able to find them. Uh, we buy the four gram for the adults and the two gram for the kids uh anything under 25 pounds is what this is for so five weeks old you can start giving them to them as long as they're 25 pounds and uh one way we uh coat the bolus gun is with this uh any kind of stuff like this usually we, we use selenium in this case we have some uh, apple paste electrolyte paste and it just pretty much keeps the bolus gun sticky so these will stick in there and won't fall out on you. I'll grab one and I'll show you guys when I go get these goats. I'm gonna go ahead and administer one to the goat that we that we missed and uh, show you guys how the process goes. So the goat right here with the reddish tint, that is the one that uh, we chose not to give the copper balls to two weeks ago just to show you guys a difference. And I don't know if I can get it or not, but his left eye is actually turned white because he's blind in that eye. I can't really get a good shot of it. But I want you guys to take a good look at his coat and I'm going to show you his brother. So you see how his hair isn't quite as slick and it's got that reddish tint to it, right? Okay, look at this one here. I gave him a turn for me. See how his coat's a lot slicker and it's really shiny and he's pretty much lost all his red. He's still got a little red, but nothing like that one there. There's the difference between them. No copper and a copper bolus supplement right there. 
Now, we do give our goats 24 7 loose minerals. So, we give them trace minerals. I can't even remember how many different minerals are in this one that we give for the goats. And uh, I'll show you guys the bag here in a little bit. But we leave it for them, we leave it out for them 24 7. So, if they are lacking something naturally, um, just about every living animal knows their brain tells them hey I'm lacking calcium I need some milk and you start craving milk it's the same thing with them if they live in an area you know if they have 6,000 acres of rangeland where they can go wherever there's probably a pretty good chance somewhere within that area they're gonna be able to naturally find copper whether it comes from the grass or there, there's something in the ground or the dirt where they can just eat it they know and uh, when you got animals like this pinned up in small pens like over here this is about an acre and a half that we got them in they're not going to be able to get out of this fence to go find a copper mineral somewhere in the ground to uh, supplement their self and we are actually deficient here in our area of northeast oklahoma so that's why we give the copper bolses twice a year and uh let me show you this one he is a little older but look how slick this one is they slick off so much better and their hair looks so much better when you give them the copper bolus. And uh, even these boys right here, these Kiko boys, they wouldn't look as good as they do if we didn't give them the copper bolus. So here in a second, I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm gonna give them just a little bit of grain so I can catch this one right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do the copper bolus. But first, I'm gonna load it in the gun. I wanna show you guys how I do that. Let me get this set up here. All right, so this is not the funnest um, chore to do on the farm. It's really, uh, it's, it's hard to do. Um, normally we'll have two people or, or we'll have them in the chute and that makes it a lot easier, but it's still a trick to get them to swallow this thing. So like I said, you can pretty much use any kind of paste. There's electrolyte paste, there's selenium paste, which is a another mineral that these guys need, vitamins. They need all their vitamin Bs, all that good stuff. So you see, I just put some down here in the tip of this bolus gun like that. Take your capsule, stick it in here. And guys, there is tons of different ways to do this. I know some people open the capsules and, and dump it down into little pieces of chopped up bananas and stuff like that. But in this case, we're just going to shove it down the throat. We're going to try to. So I'm going to try to grab him and get him in front of the camera. Um, let me get some feed. I'll dump it right here and uh, see if I can't get him and then show you guys how this goes. between your legs like ah! this. Ah! And of course, it sounds, ah! like you're, sounds like you're murdering them. Ah! All right. So you want to stick this back to the back of the ah! throat. Ah! Ah! All right, so he opened up his throat, his airway, because he was, uh, he opened up his throat pretty good. So he opened up his throat pretty good because he was kind of screaming. And I went ahead and just jabbed it right down his throat. What you do is you just pop this and it shoots right down their throat. A lot of times it'll hit the back of their tongue and they'll sit there and chew it. So here in a couple weeks, yeah. they'll start looking a lot better. Um, if, yeah. their, if their eyelids are pale, yeah. or if they look like they have parasites, <clears throat> the copper actually boosts their immune system and it helps fight off the uh, worms and all that stuff. So that's why I cannot stress enough how important it is to make sure your goats have the proper amount of copper in their diet. So here in a minute, we'll walk over and we'll take a look at our bigger herd. And uh, it's been about three or four weeks since we gave them the copper bolus and we'll go see how they're all looking. So before I forget, for those of you that's been asking, um, if you look in any of the descriptions of any of our videos down below, we have a link to our Amazon store to where it's just a list of things that we use here on the farm. We put links to, and uh, if you guys are interested in any of that, 
be, feel free to go check that out. It has a lot of stuff in there. It's all categorized like goats or chickens or whatever. Click on goats if you guys are interested in these copper bolses. I'll also put a direct link to these copper bolses to Amazon where we order them. I'll put it down below. So if you guys have been asking us where we get them, which brand and all this, uh, there you go. Just check down in the description. So we're going to go out here and check out everything. It is super dry. We are going on five weeks now with no rain pretty much at all. And you guys can see everything is pretty much drying out. It's, uh, those aren't much of razors. They're more of browsers. So they'd rather be eating on uh, leaves, weeds, and stuff like that. And you got Miss Daisy here, our Anatolian. What do you know, girl? And uh, we've been putting a slot on her ears. And you can see it's starting to work. It's starting to heal up. This one's almost healed up all the way. So she's been having uh, a bunch of fly bites on her ears. And uh, a lot of you guys told us to use that swat medication. I bought it on Amazon as well. Been putting it on her. And uh, it keeps the flies off her head. And it's actually healing up. So she's very thankful. Thank you guys very much for uh, recommending that. So let's take a look at some of these goats. That is a Kiko goat. That's a Spanish goat. But all these have had their copper. And you can pretty much tell how shiny and slick they are. So, like I said earlier, black goats will have more of a reddish tint if they're deficient in copper. Um, white goats will turn a little, oh, tannish, orangish looking. Um, you know, white goats should be pure white. And when they have the proper vitamins and, and uh, minerals supplemented in their diet, they, they are a bright glowing color. I don't have any real white goats over here. Most of the white ones we have are spotted color, so can't really show you that. But we do give our pygmy goats the same copper bolus. We try to do it twice a year, like I said. And uh, since we started doing that about two or three years ago, we have hardly had to worm any of our goats. It's cut down so much on the parasites. And the overall health in the wintertime, seems like they, less of them ever get sick. Uh, we did have one goat last year, this Kiko behind me. I think that's one sock. No, she's out in the field somewhere. She actually got pneumonia, but that was the only goat I think all winter long that actually got sick from a, like a virus or something like that. So you see most of them are standing around the shade. Got old Jerk Face Jr. and Daisy underneath the tree over there. And then this one here on the compost pile. So as of right now, this is the chute we use. It is a belly goat gruff chute. And uh, we set up a little corral here. We run them through. And we get them in here and get their heads up in here. They can't move. And these sides open up. And what we do is we swing these sides open. We work their hooves. We trim their hooves down nice and flat. And then we administer any meds we got to give them. Um, normally, we just give them the copper bolus and selenium gel. And there's our one sock coming in from the field. And Jerkface, his coat's all nice and slick because he got his copper about a month ago. I mean, it really does make a difference, guys. Ain't that right, Tommy? <laughs> She's not in the sun, but I just wanted to kind of show, her, show you her hair. And there's a ginger. You can see the difference it makes in her. So one way to tell, another way if they're off color, that's one way. But another way is if their tail has a bunch of wiry looking hair, like it, they call it a fish tail. If, if they have like a really weird looking tail hair, that is a good sign that they're deficient in copper as well. So there's several different things to look for in goats to know if they're deficient in minerals. And uh, ever since, like I said, ever since we started using this copper, it has drastically improved the health of all of our goats. And didn't doesn't matter the breed, goats are goats. But disclaimer here, if you got sheep, do not feed them any copper. Try to get feed that has no copper or little, very little traces of copper. Uh, if you give them minerals, you don't want any copper in there because they can get co copper toxicity pretty easy. Um, I'll show you guys the mineral feeder that we use for the goats. And um, I just hang it here in the wall in their barn. And they can come and go as they please. 
So it's over there. You can pick them up pretty much any, at any feed store. I see them all the time. And uh, we also leave those blocks out. That is a, a selenium block that they're licking on right there. And selenium is, a, is another important mineral. We're, we can talk about that. Vitamin, I mean. Um, you guys, if you've been following the channel, you know we've had kids born that were bow-legged and were really weak in their legs or had bad joints and stuff like that. Um, a deficiency in selenium will cause that. And, uh, you know, if you got pregnant goats, it don't hurt to give them a little oral boost of selenium gel. And that way it gets in their babies when they're born. Their legs are strong. They don't have any weird joints or anything like that. But mainly this video was about the copper, so I won't get too much into the selenium. Uh, I just wanted you guys to be able to see the difference. So another thing you want to do is, if you want to leave out minerals or uh, mineral blocks or anything like that, salt blocks, you always want to have fresh water. And uh, in this instance, we used to have some blocks out right here. I just moved them into the barn recently. But you want them somewhere close to the water. That way when they're coming to get a drink, they'll kind of stop and uh, take their time to get a little lick off of their blocks or their minerals. <clears throat> And another thing is, a lot of people ask, what if your goat eats too much mineral? And that's very rare. A lot of uh, the, the loose trace minerals that you can just leave out 24-7 has a lot of salt in there. And that helps cut down on the intake that these goats won't just sit there and gorge yourself on the mineral. It actually makes them real thirsty, so they'll go to water and kind of forget about it and go on. So they're, they're munching up what, what is left of this pasture, what's, what's still green anyways, but there's not a lot left. We used to have a lot of clover and yellow hop and Lespediza, Ceriza Lespediza, which is actually a natural dewormer. But right now there is not a lot left. It is getting dry. We, uh, we need some rain pretty bad. So guys, like we say in a lot of our other videos, we are by no means what you would call professionals. We are not veterinarians, not doctors or nothing like that, but we know what works for us on our farm. And uh, something that works for us and our goats here might not work for you guys. Um, livestock, actually, it varies on regions and areas of the country. You know, some areas in uh, Texas, they have a lot of copper, you know, and some areas in Oklahoma might have copper, but here we're really deficient in it. And if you guys are interested in having your soil sampled for minerals and vitamins and all that stuff, you can get online, do some research, and there's some kits and stuff you can get with your local ag department. Reach out to them and they can help you out. And um, uh, the internet is your best friend when it comes to goats. There's all kinds of forums and stuff online. YouTube videos, that's why we try to document with these YouTube videos, trial and error. We don't always make the right decisions for our goats, but if we usually make a bad decision or a wrong decision, we take note of it and learn from it and go on, and then next time we know. So that's one reason we try to make these videos. We get so many questions on goats. Like I just got one this morning from uh, Nigeria, I believe. Someone wanted to know uh, why, their, why their nannies were having problems, certain problems with when they were having kids so uh that's just that that uh inspired us to make more videos on some of this stuff we're by no means a perfect goat farmer but we know what works and what doesn't work for us and it seems like every year something else comes up and we got to try something else or figure something else out and that's where this youtube platform comes in handy because then we can share it with anyone that would probably search in youtube or uh, reach out to us you know if they ask us something we've already covered a video over we can just send them a link to the video but yeah if you guys got any questions on raising you know livestock or goats really uh send us an email uh, leave it in a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you guys um, like i said we're not vets or not professionals by no means but we know what works for us so thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'm going to get in the house because i got to get some eye drops in my eye. The sun's about to beat me up. can't hardly keep my eye open as the water and like crazy. But thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.